This is for biology 223 genetics. This is a problem from a sample exam, uh, 5th of June 2008. It's about deletion mapping. Um, I had a previous video on this which had a, a minor error, so I wanted to repeat this and maybe do it with a little more care. And I did the problem beforehand to make sure uh, I get the right answer, and then the video got interrupted with a phone call. So this is the third time. So, uh, remember, this is deletion mapping, and it's very hard to talk about something that's not there without describing it as if it's there. So I'm going to talk about share. The deletion of I shares overlaps with deletion of F. And so, sometimes I'll talk about shared sequence, when what I mean is they're both missing the same thing. So let's, let's, also, let's first annotate this. There's a, let me give you some problem solving tricks. This kind of problem is a more of a kind of a riddle and it, with this many, A through I, it's a bother. I think five is a fair, five deletions would be a fair one, but this semester I had um, <clears throat> a lot of geniuses. So I'm gonna give you some s tricks or advice on the problem solving approach. In these half tables, it's very easy to get lost and not wrap around. So if I want to know G, or let's say F, I have to go F and then go up here. And it's very easy for me to switch and go from the F column to the G row rather than the F column to the F row. So labeling like this helps me. Also, we're going to talk about a region in which these deletions occur. So let's say that region is here, and I'm going to draw the deletions of each of these next to where they are. So I'm going to draw a column here uh, of labels so that we, so you see, and if you hear somebody shouting, it's not me, it's my neighbor. So I'm going to label this. Also know I'm using pencil and I have an eraser. This is a good time for that. So I'm going to draw them next to them, next the, the actual map of the deletion in the same order here. Uh, ignore this part. Uh, that didn't work out so well. Uh, ignore that, that, that formatting issue. So often when we're mapping, we start like two-point deletion, uh, two-point normal map, test cross maps, whatever, even bacteria. We start with things that are next to each other and build up because if we start with things that are very far away from each other, we have no way to link them. Here, we look for things that are topologically long. So if I just inspect this, I see that I, which is at the top, topologically uh, is the largest. That is, it has shared deletion with many other things. And B is pretty common. And if I look at I, I see that D and F deletions don't overlap with that of I. So that means if I draw here I as something relatively long, then there's a portion on the end where in this region where D and F may be. So D may be here, F may be there, or D and F may be here in whichever order. And so the first thing if I'm going to add, well let me add D and F and where do they go? Let's look at D. So D overlaps with B the deletion of B overlaps with B and not with I. And the deletion of B overlaps with I, G, D, C. While F, the deletion of F overlaps with E. And E overlaps with C, G, I. So those, so it sounds like D and F are on opposite sides of I. So I'm going to draw that of D here and that of F over here. It's arbitrary, it could be the other way around. But the deletion of D does not overlap with the deletion of I, that of F. Okay, and then I'm gonna build up from there for a bit to see if I can. So let's look at F. So F overlaps with E. E overlaps with I and F. So E here starts over an F and continues. How far does it continue? It continues into I and it goes into uh, where are we again? E 
I H F C. So C and H, we don't know where those are yet. And in contrast, D overlaps with only with B. So B starts here, and B overlaps with I, G, C, D. So B extends into the realm of I. And I and E and B don't overlap. B and E don't overlap. So let's work from from one side or the other. So let's work with, might as well work with a B. So we have a C, a D, we already did D, and a G. G overlaps with A, with C, and with I. So I'm going to say A, B, C. Uh, so where are we again? G here overlaps with B, so it starts, or doesn't matter, it doesn't overlap with D, it overlaps with I and B, so this is G, and it overlaps with A and C, which we haven't done. So I can talk about, but A and C, so C overlaps with B, so C and B share sequence, G and C share sequence, A and C share sequence, but B, B and A don't share sequence. So A starts after B, C, A, B, G all overlap, right? A overlaps with I, with G, with um, whoops, did I say D? Not with D, um, but and with C. So that's fine. So that's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Let's look over at the other side at H. So H overlaps with I, so it's somewhere in here. And H overlaps also with E. Where's our E? E is here. So H overlaps with I and E. E, H overlaps with E and H, and uh, need only be a point. E overlaps, where are we? E overlaps with C. Here we go. So we have a connection between them. C must extend far enough. So E and C overlap. And now, is that everything? I think that that's everything, and I can double check that and notice that all that matters is this overlap, 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 and all of them overlapping with um, I. The actual length doesn't matter. It's different kind of topology. So um, what we can do is check this. We can say then the next step uh, to see if this map is correct. Now, I have no idea whether this is a unique. Maybe, maybe these data are compatible with other deletion maps. That's not my concern. It's concerned whether this, as I, does this suggest a hypothesis, and then does the hypothesis consistent with the data, and then there might be other information such as some sort of distance mapping and frequency recombination to 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 support this. So if this is true, I overlaps with A, the uh, deletion of I overlaps with that of A, with that of B, with that of C, with that of E, with that of G, and that of H. Yes, that's fine. And H overlaps with that of, H overlaps with that of I, and that of E, yes, and only, and G overlaps with that of a with B with C, where are we? And that's it. And F overlaps with that of E and only, and where am I? F overlaps with that of E and only E. E overlaps with that of C and F and 
H and I. D overlaps with D overlaps with B. And that's, uh, where was I? D overlaps with B. Why do I have something? I'm looking at the well, wrong place. D overlaps only with B. C overlaps with A, with B, with E, with G, and with I. That's fine. B overlaps with C, uh, where are we, and D, and G, and I, and A, A overlaps with, not with B, but with C, and G, and I. So that's correct. Um, so I will uh, stop this recording and post it. And I think that's correct because I got the same answer uh, three times in a row now. And the, the previously posted video had just one minor mistake there, although it was done in a bit more of a hurry.